Hello, Mike Lee with you here again. Welcome to number four in our acrylic series. I've been asked, uh, I've had a request actually, um, to do a traditional landscape. I'm, I'm not sure how traditional I am, but uh, I use this watercolour as a reference. And this is what we ended up with. You just need to draw a few lines, some horizontal and some perspective, uh, not too much detail. There's the mountain range, very mid forward. Just applying an undercoat to the um, the middle ground, just to give me a bit of an idea of what's happening. I do have that original watercolour as a reference, but I'll certainly be changing a few things. Um. My favourite fan brush. It works well with grass. It works well with lots of things. Just uh, defining a few areas now. I've broken, broken up the paddocks and now I'm about to um, put a few trees in. Landscapes might not be your thing, but as you can see, there is a process. So you could be doing a still life. It would be still the same process. I reckon now I'm um, a little bit premature putting the foreground trees in. I should have waited a little bit longer. I got impatient.
housing, this little farmhouse, a little point of interest. paddocks a little bit too symmetrical right up the centre. Starting with a cloudy sky has an advantage. It means you can throw a shadow wherever you like. Um, we're nearly there. on. Just a bit of a flick for something. But the same process is required for something even this big. Same method. Thank you.